Today is an inflection point in the life of this country. It isn't just the media that stands at a crossroads, it is the country itself. It is the country that is grappling with unprecedented negativity. We all like to complain, don't we? We complain in our drawing rooms about our politicians, we complain about the state of the roads, we complain about the traffic, we complain about the pollution, and guess what? We even complain about our media. But how many times have we participated in solutions? All day today, the 25-year-old journey of NDTV will be marked by what we believe sets us apart. We don't just complain, we solve things. Through the day, you will hear some of the preeminent voices of this country, from science, to arts, to culture, talking about everything from secularism to the future of this country. In many ways, this summit represents the character of our news. It comes from the same values, the spirit of rationality, the spirit of inquisition, and the passion to follow your heart. We welcome you and thank you again for being part of this momentous milestone, and I hand it over now to Pranoy Roy to begin, fittingly, the first the very first session on how science and rational spirit and technology can be part of India's solutions. Thank you very much, Barkha. Well, you know, you mentioned mobile phones, internet. The first decision we had to take at NDTV 25 years ago, I was just saying, was whether we should buy a telex machine or a fax machine. This brand new fax. Is it worth it? What is it? Will it die out? That was 25 years ago. Well, in my 25 years of debates, analysis, and discussions, I can't remember a time when I've been, well, we've all been, fortunate enough to have four more brilliant minds together. A Nobel Prize winner, a Bharat Ratna, the father of the Green Revolution, and a brilliant computer scientist. Thank you all for coming together, and for especially the panel, to be with us on this very special day for us. It's an emotional day. The broad issue for debate and discussion today uh, is can science and technology help solve many of India's key problems. It's in the overall framework of solutions. The format of the debate today will involve a great deal of audience participation. We will take our first audience questions in the next five minutes. Also Twitter, Facebook, and NDTV's second screen. You can just log on to NDTV.com, go to the second screen, and ask your question. If others like your question, this is the new democracy. It will go to the top of the queue, and we shall put your second screen question to the panel. So get ready now to join in the debate. Now first may I ask you, Venkat Raman, or Venki, you know, molecular biology, you know, what can it do? Can well, it help us? So let me give you an example. Um, tuberculosis has been known for thousands of years. Uh, but it took several thousand years to identify the causative agent of TB, which is mycobacterium tuberculosis. Uh, HIV was first diagnosed uh, around 1980, the late 70s or 1980, thereabouts. And it only took a decade before the entire, not only was the virus identified, there was a test, 
available. Uh, the entire virus was sequenced. Uh, a lot of its life cycle uh, was figured out. And in the subsequent 10 years, uh, effective drugs that don't cure HIV, there is no cure, but at least that keep it uh, controlled uh, are available if uh, one has the money to pay for them. So uh, that shows you the power of molecular biology in medicine. Now, uh, there's also, I don't have to uh, say this since we have an illustrious uh, uh, person in uh, agriculture here, but molecular biology can make tremendous advances in creating new varieties of uh, crops uh, in a more systematic way than uh, traditional uh, you know, genetics where you do crosses and so on and select. And uh, now you can actually transplant genes from one species to another. You can create drought tolerance. You can create cold tolerance. Uh, so, and you can create better nutrition. You can have uh, rice that has you know, beta carotene, for instance, uh, that's an essential uh, ingredient in our nutrition. So uh, on the one hand, molecular biology is an academic discipline. It's about the fundamental workings of life in the cell, but it has huge consequences. And I should say it's a multi, multi-billion dollar industry. 